Let's talk about voice actors. You've probably heard complaints from some of them lately that AI is coming to take their jobs. But what you didn't know is that you are now a voice actor. TikTok just launched AI voices where you can clone your voice inside of the app for free. So to do this, go to your sounds and then AI voice, follow the prompts where you're going to say out these texts or these words, and it's going to record like 10 seconds of it. And then it's going to generate your AI voice. So now you can write the text and it will say it in your voice. So that sounds bad, but luckily she went into the comments to uh, dissuade some fears, right? Apparently it's private, but oh, do check the privacy in terms. She did check the privacy in terms in the next video, and I'll just let her tell it. And I guess if someone stole your phone, they could use your voice as well for impersonation. But the part that concerned me was being available in the voice library for others to use. So not only are you now an AI voice actor, but everyone else can use you as an AI voice actor. Luckily, the government is here to help. Uh, this is HR 5586. It says here that if something is using an AI voice, there has to be a label at the bottom of the screen for the entire duration of the video saying that this is, uh, this is AI. So this was introduced last year and I have the history of it here. So here we go. 920, it's introduced the same day. It's referred to subcommittee. And that's it. They have been sitting on this for a year. This is Susan Bennett. Uh, she's the voice of Siri. She taught me that no matter what AI does, human voice actors are always going to be better because all the AI we know is reliant on people like Susan. This happened in 2005 before anyone ever thought of an iPhone. No. I, I take that back. Steve Jobs, I'm sure, has <laughs> right. thought of it. <laughs> Wait, she recorded it in 2005? And I hope she got, I hope she's getting paid. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. She got a phone call in 2011 saying, we're playing around with the new iPhone 4. Is this you? And no, she didn't know. She did not know that they ended up using her voice for Siri. Okay, um... You may have heard of the controversy recently that <laughs> OpenAI's new AI voice sounded a lot like Scarlett Johansson, who voiced an AI in the movie Her. And Sam Altman, the CEO, ended up backing down, right? But first, he denied any connection between Scarlett Johansson and the ChatGPT voice. So, that's a little suspicious. Uh, let's hear Susan Bennett talking about this controversy. I think AI is going to be really incredibly helpful to the human race if it's used appropriately. Um, I don't think it should have anything to do with voiceover. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's I, I just think that a lot of people will lose work because of it if it's used in that way. Get a lawyer. If you are a voice actor or a TikTok user or anyone considering going into this, I don't care if you are a lawyer, get a different lawyer. Read the terms and conditions, as the person who made the original video on this did, and know what you're getting into, okay? And lastly, I want to thank you all for 80,000 subscribers. Stay safe out there, guys. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay, uh, be responsible. Goodbye. Two hours later, people were still subscribing to Joey Bell. You're still doing it. Yeah, I'm still doing it. I can't stop. I can't stop.